Okay, I've got all the groceries I need. And in just enough time, too. Whew, I was so sure I would have to fight someone for that can of cranberry sauce. Hmm, would I really have been willing to risk it, though? Probably not. It would have been interesting, that's for sure. Before I get too far away from this store, I better check that I have everything. Let's see. Cranberry sauce, yes. Stuffing, yes. Cheese, yes. Okay, on to the necessity check. Phone in my pocket. Wallet in my bag. Keys in... Keys are... Oh no. Where are my keys? I can't lose those. How will I get all this stuff home? Okay, calm down. Let's think for a second. Did I have them when I came in? Oh, come on. Remember. Okay. I remember getting out of the car. I took my phone out of the charger and put it in my pocket. Then I remembered that I had a coupon. I... What did I do? Oh, yeah. I grabbed that coupon out of the glove compartment and hopped out of the car with my phone and my bag and... No. No, no. Oh, no. <sighs> oh. Well, this is just great. The keys are still in the ignition. Why, today of all days, would I be so absent-minded? How am I supposed to get them out? My phone? I'll just look it up on YouTube. One of these says I need a shoestring. Which shoes am I wearing? No shoestrings, of course. Why didn't I wear my boots? What about a thin, sharp object that can go through the door? Uh... Nope, nothing. I guess that's everything short of breaking my window. Do I really need to get home that badly? Well, everyone will be blowing up my phone if I'm not home within the next hours. But I don't think that's worth driving home sitting in broken glass. I have no choice then. I have to call a locksmith. And based on these prices, there goes all the money I was going to use to pay off that credit card. I should probably reconsider breaking the window. Hmm. The email said he was 20 minutes away. Maybe I should try to call... And my phone just died. Ugh. Well, guess I have no choice but to keep waiting. Could that be him? Yep, looks like it. Hey, over here! Oh my goodness. I was not expecting him to look like that. Now I'm embarrassed I was so absent-minded. Bet I'm holding him up from spending time with people who are actually important to him. But then again, he is getting $300 from the shop, so maybe he doesn't mind? I wonder. Oh, I'm sorry. I was a bit zoned out. <laughs> what did you say? How'd the keys get locked in? Well, I'm not exactly sure. One moment I was buying green beans, and the next I was contemplating breaking the window. <laughs> I feel so foolish. Oh, really? There have been people who have locked themselves out more than once? On the same day? Well, I guess I shouldn't feel so foolish then. So, besides coming down here to help me, what are your plans for the holiday? I'm just curious is all. Just making conversation. The mountains. That sounds amazing. 
you'll actually get snow on Christmas Day. Maybe you'll be able to go sledding. Me? Oh, you don't want to hear my plans. Okay, I'll tell you. We always have a big family gathering. This year, I drew the short straw, so it's being hosted at my house. Don't get me wrong, I love my family, but hosting all these people is a lot of work. We always have warm apple cider around noon when everyone first arrives. Then we all get a chance to catch the family up on what we've been doing since the last time we saw each other. Next is Christmas movies and the gift exchange. Dinner is at three. After that is karaoke, then board games, and finally, dessert and everyone goes home. <laughs> it's a very busy but fulfilling day. Do you have any traditions for the holiday? Oh, Christmas movies too. <sighs> Wait, that is not a Christmas movie. It's a movie that happens to take place around Christmas. <laughs> I've had this debate many times and I always win. You can't beat me. Wait, you can't do that. It's not fair. <sighs> okay, you win. It's a Christmas movie. Now please, just get my car unlocked so I can get home and start cooking. <laughs> What's your deal anyway? What do I mean? I mean, why would you be working this close to the holiday when you should be preparing like me? Well, not exactly like me, but... Nobody expects you to bring anything for dinner? Oh. You're going to the mountains by yourself? Isn't that a little... Well, lonely? Doing all of that driving. What if something happens and you get stranded? Oh, I, I see. You like to get away from people during the holidays. I can see that. You seem like the lone wolf type. <laughs> I don't know. You give off this playful yet stoic vibe. It's charming. You've got the door open. Oh, thank you so much. So what's the damage? Am I going to need to take out a second mortgage? You're not charging me? Don't question it, Bertie. Just go with it. Otherwise, he might change his mind. But why not? Well, you're going to regret asking that question. You better enjoy this dinner tonight because you're going to be eating rice and beans until that credit card is paid off. Because I was good company. <laughs> well, I was just being myself. Oh, goodness. Don't call me adorable. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I just really want you to have a nice holiday, even if you're spending it alone. You know what? Here's my number. If you ever want some company, just call me. No, you don't have to help me load the groceries. You've done so much already. Oh, all right. Yep, this one is the heaviest. It has all the cans in it. Thank you so much for everything. My family will definitely appreciate it. Please, keep my offer in mind. Oh. <laughs> Stop making me blush. You have a great holiday. 